It wasn't about the pumpkin itself, but what was done to the pumpkin. Come at me, bro! Hello everyone, my name is Beth, or Queen of Spade. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button, and thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. I really appreciate it. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers as soon as possible, so please hit that button for me. So I found this fabulous article and some fun Halloween memes, so let's go have some fabulous Halloween fun cringing and laughing together. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays, and I'm really looking Looking forward to getting into this cringe-worthy article with you, so let's go throw some spade. With Fred here, of course. Blackface pumpkins pulled from Bed Bath & Beyond after complaints of racism. And all it says here is that the article is by the 2Fab staff, so I got it from 2Fab.com, and I don't know, let's see what they have to say about it. Bed Bath & Beyond has stopped selling black jack-o'-lanterns amid complaints that their decorations are a form of blackface. Oh god, here we go. The backlash first arose after a local law firm in Nyack, New York placed the pumpkins, painted black with white eyes, nose, and mouth, on their front porch as part of a Halloween display. Some residents found the pumpkins harmless, but NAACP Regional Director Wilbur, oh gosh, here we go with the long last name, Wilbur, of course your name would be this, Wilbur Aldridwich, sorry if I said that wrong, we all know I did, but he said, Wilbur here said the decoration showed an extreme lack of sensitivity. Yeah, Fred, well, I don't think you can do any better with this last name, okay? <laughs> so, basically, the regional director of the NAACP says that those pumpkins are racist. So, shame on Bed Bath & Beyond, apparently for putting out racist pumpkins, I don't know if that was what they were trying to do. I think they were just trying to use Halloween colors. Orange and black are the Halloween colors. But let's just keep reading this. By now, I would believe everyone would know that anything in blackface is offensive. Equally as offensive is that a retail store would have such an item in their inventory for general purchase. Read a statement from Aldridge. It wasn't about the pumpkin itself, but what was done to the pumpkin. <laughs> when you proceed to put the white eyes and the white mouth, now you have crossed the line because it then goes into having blackface, Aldridge told News 12. Aldridge, yeah, I can't say that either. Can't talk today, um, sorry, but... So basically because the eyes are white and the mouth is white, they're saying that putting the black on the pumpkin means that it's blackface. But I believe that eyes are white and the mouth being white, like it could have just been because there's the teeth, the teeth are white, you know. Um, I... I don't want to say that Bed Bath & Beyond is trying to be racist because it, it it's sounding like a little bit of a stretch based on what he's basing it on. But let's just keep going. You know, we are here to read this. Let's go. The criticism prompted Ferick Nugent McCartney Law to remove the display within 48 hours. We understand that someone complained about them, and so once we got word of that, we immediately took them down. Mary Marzola, a partner at the law firm, told the news outlet. See, now, that sounds a little iffy to me. That sounds like, you know, they put them out there, maybe, and then they didn't see a problem with it until someone complained. So then I'm kind of thinking in my head, well, obviously it wasn't their intent to do blackface and be racist because if that was their intent, you know, 
Well, actually, yeah, it still would have taken someone complaining before they took it down. But I just, ugh, I'm having a hard time with this. I just, I don't know if painting a pumpkin black and putting on the white eyes and mouth for display is actually doing blackface and being racist. I don't know. Let's keep going, though. She said the pumpkins personalized with the names of the partners of the law firm were not meant to be offensive. Oh, oh hold on. I know, Fred. I caught that too. Don't worry. Ho hold on. So they personalized the pumpkins with the names of the partners of the law firm. Okay, that might change things. I feel like that changes things. Now we're making it a little bit more personal. And it doesn't really matter the race of the partners of the law firm right now, I don't believe. I mean, it of course, like, I no, I don't even think it makes it worse if they are white. Because really, now if we're saying that these pumpkins are supposed to be the partners of the law firm, yeah, painting the faces black can be seen as iffy. I do have to say that part makes me go, ooh, guys, ooh. But let's keep going. So it also says here, uh, we represent people of all colors and face, and we would never do anything to exclude anyone from any community, Marzola explained. See, like, like I said, I don't, I think that maybe this is just an oversight, like whoever was doing their displays really didn't think like they should have about this, didn't think it all the way through. I don't know if it was intentional, but I do have to say that whole personalizing with the names of the partners of the law firm, it does change things. It, it does. It does. Let's keep going. Her associate, Alak Shah, again, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, I'm apparently not very good with pronouncing names, but he backed her claims. It's just nothing I take offensive to personally, but since it did offend someone, we took proactive steps to take it down, he said. After News 12 contacted Bed Bath & Beyond about the controversy, the item was removed from its website. So this whole article just seems to be them being like, so we didn't find it offensive, but other people did, so we took it down. And can we just take a minute to talk about this right here? Sarah Silverman fired from movie over years old blackface sketch. Sarah Silverman. Did you ever think that maybe if she was doing the blackface sketch that she was just trying to be our prime minister? Probably not, but you guys knew I was going to bring that up. And can everyone please stop doing the blackface thing? It's shit. I am against the whole cancel culture thing. I do not like it. I think it's awful to go looking for things that people did 10, 20 years ago and bring it up today and try to make it seemed like they should apologize for it. However, in this case, with these pumpkins, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I mean, I really want to hear your guys' opinions and thoughts on it. I really want to know if you guys think that it was racist. I do have to say that whole personalizing them with the uh, law firm guys there, that did change things for me. I was like, ah, oh, that's a little bit iffy, but I am so interested to know what society thinks of this. What do you guys think? The article does end with this tweet here from a fellow Canadian named Mike, and he says, along with sharing the article from a different website, actually, he shares it from the Westchester News, and he says, pumpkins pulled from stores for looking like blackface, but politicians who wear it somehow not only survive, but get reelected. And then he puts a clown emoji and a world emoji. Um, so that's what he thinks, and I'm sure many other Canadians share that sentiment with him. Um, 
I just want to know what everybody else thinks out there. I've been doing a little bit of searching and it seems to be pretty split that half society feels like this is racist and it should have been pulled and the other half seems to feel like it wasn't meant to be racist. It was just them using the Halloween colors, orange and black, and maybe they were using the white to make it kind of pop out more and show more on the black pumpkin um so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i do read every single comment that you guys post i love interacting with all of you when you post comments you guys make me laugh sometimes with your comments you can go check out some funny comments on other videos the links will be at the end of this one and i just thought that it would be fun fun if we did some Halloween memes. I have searched the internet long and hard all October and I have gathered a fabulous group of memes for us to read and laugh at together. So let's just get into that now and have some fun. I want to end this video on good vibes, you know, good vibes. I am ready for Halloween. Who's ready? Aww, that one's cute. Off to a cute start. See? Good vibes. And when the clock strikes midnight, Halloween will end, then BAM! Christmas carols everywhere! And they can bippity boppity boo the hell out of here because it's just too early, Karen. Too early. Actually, you know what, guys? I might do an entire video on that theme on people celebrating Christmas way too early. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something you guys would want to see, if that's something you guys would be interested in, because I think it would be hella fun, and I would love to do that for you. So let me know. When you don't find marijuana edibles in your Halloween candy like the news warned you about. Excuse me, what the beep? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. It is true. It doesn't happen as much as it should. Really doesn't. What? You guys know that I smoke. Ooh, so this I found on my personal Facebook. I jumped on Facebook the other day, and this was an actual sponsored ad by Durex, the uh, condom company, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I just had to share it with you guys. So it says... It seems like there's pumpkin spice everything now. What if there were pumpkin spice flavored condoms? Hmm. And then they got the picture and everything. And then when you click on see more, it was really funny. They were like, this is not a real ad. <laughs> they were like, please don't rush out to the stores to buy these flavored condoms like pumpkin spice white girls. Slow down. They're not real. Um, but I just thought it was funny. I had to share it. I know it's not technically a meme, but still funny. Good on you, Direct. You guys gotta laugh. Being pumped for Halloween, but still trying to stay professional like... Yeah, you relate, Fred? You relate to that? Do ya? Mm-hmm, sure. Just the tip, baby. I promise. What do Donald Trump and a pumpkin have in common? They're orange on the outside, hollow on the inside, and should be tossed out in early November. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Trick or treat. Y'all got any more of that special candy? I'm sorry. No one can do it like Dave Chappelle can. I'm sorry, Dave Chappelle. Neighbor, you didn't decorate your house this year. Me. Sure I did. <laughs> that one has to be my favorite. For Halloween, you should go as the person you claim to be on Facebook. And we all thought of about 10 people on Facebook that we want to send this to. A pumpkin man sits inside a pumpkin house. Is the house made of flesh or is he made of house? He screams for he does not know. What? What? I don't... I don't... I just don't even know what to think about this. <laughs> All right, I, I might be done with the memes now. So I absolutely love Halloween. It is one of my 
favorite times of year. I love October so much. Please let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween down in the comments. I hope you guys had a lot of fun going through that article with me again. Let me know in the comments what you thought about that. The memes were fun to go through too, except that last one. I have no clue what that was at all. I'm still trying to work that out. Anyway, please like this video, share it with your friends to have some fun with them on Halloween, and do subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 100 likes as soon as possible. Help me out. Thank you so much for watching this, and thank you for subscribing. I love you all. Much love. Have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.